Well, good morning, YouTubers. This is Bob Hickman. It is so good to be here with you on this special day, the day of the royal wedding of His Royal Highness Prince William of Wales to Miss Catherine Middleton. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying the wedding. I know I have. I've been up watching it, drinking my tea and having tea biscuits and just having a great time. Anyways, we're going to do, as I promised you, the royal psychic reading today for the new Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. So, before we get into the reading for their royal highnesses, give me just a moment and let me attune to the spirit world. Okay. My spirit guides Fletcher's here. First of all, I want to send my congratulations to your royal highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Congratulations on your marriage and also on your new titles. I know that you're going to bless and inspire a lot of people. You know, as I'm walking forward here into your vibrations, I pick up all around you this beautiful golden light. And it's very interesting here because I feel as if you have been literally fortified for this big day by the spirit world. All about you, there are a lot of angels. And the angel in particular who is overseeing the both of you this day is none other than Saint Raphael, the Archangel. I feel that Raphael has been with you throughout your courtship and has arranged for this and brought you together. You know, it's very interesting when we talk about people meeting and, and joining. And both of you, interestingly, have a past life connection. And I do see a connection with each of you in Scotland, and it looks like it was during the 1700s. Now, what's interesting is in that lifetime, you guys were not royal personages. You were just everyday people. And you had a great love for the poor. Interestingly, both of you were Catholic, and I believe that you ran a charity. You did charity work. Um, you did help, like, set up homes for the poor and feed them. Now, interestingly, neither of you were very wealthy yourself, but... Uh, your love for the poor, um, you know, gave you the ability to serve them. It's interesting that in this life now you've come back and you're each in positions of great fame and power. And this is being given to you by the spirit world as a gift because you spent your last lives doing such wonder and goodness. And you will continue that mission. You know, it's very interesting because past lives, everything comes full circle. And so each of you has spent your lives doing good, and now you're being rewarded by a life where you can do even more good. And I'm very excited to tell you that. So it's interesting because they showed me when you first two met that there was almost a knowing. It was like when you saw each other, even though you didn't know each other, you knew each other. And that, I do believe, was a past life connection here. You know, um, I also get around you here. This uh, next few months, very hectic. Uh, and I want you to be particularly watching during the summer months because I'm picking up issues connected to travel. And I'm getting connections here around the Caribbean, around Africa, and also Australia. And I do believe as we go through June, July, and August, this will be filled much with travel. Now, I know that you guys are supposedly settling, uh, from what I hear, in Wales and that you have a house there. But I have to tell you, I keep hearing construction work going on here. So I don't know how settled you're going to get in the house. Uh, they show me that, uh, in fact, you're not going to be able to spend a lot of time there. But not to worry. It will be a beautiful home. I do pick up issues connected to electrical problems in the home. And I'd like you especially to have somebody do a double check of electrical systems. I don't want any, you know, problems with you guys. Lights going out in the middle of dinner, things like that. Uh, but I do see the home coming along, and it does look like it will be a blessed place for you. Now, interestingly, as we get towards the fall here, around September, October, uh, I pick up around each of you, um, uh, things starting to slow down. And I think as we go into the fall, you'll be settling back into your home in Wales. But I have to tell you, as we go into October, end of October, going into November, I pick up around you, uh, a lot of travel to London, and I feel that there may be family business that comes up in the fall that kind of keeps you from spending time at your home. So, you know, your house in Wales, it's kind of like, will we ever get to settle there? Well, you will, but it won't be until, you know, later in the end, towards the end of the year. Uh, you know, speaking about the end of the year, um, I'm going to give a, a, a royal prediction here that will shock everybody, but... I'm picking up that Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Cambridge, will be with child by December. And 
the both of you, I see the child uh, coming and being very healthy, very happy. It will be born in 2012, and it will be a girl. And there will be a daughter born to you, and the nation will rejoice. She will be hailed as the new Queen of England, the future queen. So there's will even be talk about, shall, will she be the future Elizabeth III? So we'll see how that goes. But you know, you two have been brought together by higher powers, and you're each being guided. Now, your Royal Highness um, Duchess of Cambridge, I have around you a number of people in spirit here, and uh, you have around you um, a monk here who's one of your spirit guides. His name is Brother um, Tobias, and he comes from the 1800s. He was a Catholic monk, and I believe that uh, he's been a guide for you over the last three years, because they show me over the last three years a lot of introspective work has been done, and Brother Tobias has been one of your guides. Your Royal Highness, Prince William, uh, I have around you also uh, one of your spirit guides, and you're being guided by the Archangel Michael. He's one of your, your spirit protectors, and he's leading you on. He particularly travels with you when you're doing military work, and I do see you doing a lot more travels also this year with the military. Each of you are, are going to be kind of, uh, you know, traveling. There are going to be times of separation, but know that each of you are guided and protected by your guides. Yes, thank you. My spirit guide Fletcher also brings over some other greetings to you. For your Royal Highness the Duchess, uh, I have for you here a gentleman. He goes by the name of David, and he just says, let her know that David is guiding her as well. So you have another spirit guide named David. This may also be a relative. I'm not getting a clear connection of where to place him, but I want to call him David. And he seems to also have a connection on your mother's side of the family here. So it could be a relative or a friend of the family. But his name is David, and he says, I've been there today with her all day, and he says, I look after the whole family. So your family, uh, uh, your mother and father and your siblings, are also under the protection of this David. Now, yes, thank you. Your Royal Highness Prince William, I also have for you here, um, he says, let him know that Uncle Dickie is here. And I believe this is his raw, excuse me, no, thank you, it is Lord Lewis Mountbatten. And he says to let you know, he says he asked me to bring a message to your father. And he says, let him know that he's done well and I'm proud of him. He sends a greeting to your father, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, and he wants you to know that he's been overseeing this day as well. And he says it was staged perfectly. Uh, it's interesting because I feel that um, that his lordship had a kind of a hand in the ceremony from the spirit world. So he loves the pageantry of the day, and he says that he's put on his finest for the whole for you and the whole family. Anyways, they're both guiding you, so I want to bring those messages to you as well. I also have another very special message here for the both of you, and this is from Her Royal Highness, the Princess of Wales. She's asking me to tell you, she says, my dear son, she says, I'm very proud of you, and you are blessed this day. She said, I was there watching, you know that. She said, they couldn't keep me out of the church. And she wants you to know she's very proud. She also addresses her Royal Highness, and she says to you, she says, I couldn't have a better daughter-in-law. So she sends her blessings and greetings. And she says, well, it's time to party. So I think she's going to be celebrating throughout the night with both of you. And she sends her love. You are being guided by all of these wonderful people from the spirit world. Thank you. Well, guys, I hope that this has given you some insight for the coming year. Your union is very blessed and very guided. And you need not fear, for there's no tragedy going forward. You're going to be moving more into the light, and you will bless many in the coming year. Thank you for allowing me the chance to read for you. I send you my greetings on this most special of days. Blessings to you.